Hey guys, MCU Collector here with the final video in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series. Fantastic Four Wave 1 Super Scroll Build-A-Figure. Here we have Clert himself, the Super Scroll. Now again, this particular Build-A-Figure is based on a very specific character of the Super Scroll, who is Clert. It is not just like a regular scroll, so this is not technically an RB building figure. However, the scrolls all pretty much look alike, and if you use the depowered arms, you could basically army build that version of a scroll, a regular scroll. It's completely up to you. I've seen some people that said, no, it is not a build a fig it is not an army builder, do not army build it as clerk, super scroll, very specific character. Um, and then all those that say, I want a army build. Um, but then there's the trouble that it's a Build-A-Figure, so how do you army build a Build-A-Figure? It can be done, but then it can get pretty pricey. So it's all up to you guys on how you guys want to do it. But anyway, we're going to put him together, and it's going to be the Super Scroll version, of course. So we'll actually start with the torso, and we'll get the legs on it, because that's going to be pretty easy. Or so I thought it would be easy. It's actually a little bit, a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. All right, it's not working out. That does not want to port in so easily. Okay, I'm gonna have to go off camera to get the legs on. I'll come back for the other pieces. Okay, so I got one leg on. I think I could do this other leg on video now too. You just, you, you really have to get a lot of good force going into it. And then once you get it, it just snaps right on in. And you know what? I can't do it. I gotta go off video again. Okay, so I got the legs on. That was ridiculous to try and get them on because I, you know, originally the this body isn't really wasn't made to be a build a figure. So you know, those legs don't easily come off. You'd really have to warm them up to pull them off. Because again, it is a Hyperion body mold. The upper torso is actually different. I just grabbed a, a Hyperion mold body figure. The first one that I found and it's Tiger Shark and he doesn't even have his head. But anyway, you can see the legs are the exact same. The arms are going to be the same. So uh, because it wasn't originally designed to be a Build-A-Figure, I think that's why the legs were a little bit more difficult to get on there than a standard Build-A-Figure piece. But I got them on there. Now let's add in the powered up arms. You just pop in like so. Pop that one in like so. So those are easy, it's just the legs that were extremely difficult. And um, I don't know, let's go with head B to pop onto the torso piece. And then here we have Clert, the super scroll. So, very nice looking figure, actually having it in hand, it is very cool. And then we get the flame effect, and that flame effect is gonna kinda clip onto this thing arm here it just kind of rests on there so you have the flame effect going so he has um, all four powers of the Fantastic Four so flame from Human Torch the rocky um, arm from thing the stretch of Mr. Fantastic and the invisibility of the invisible woman so that is pretty awesome I really am liking the way this came out looking. Now, I don't have one of the older Super Scroll figures to compare him to, um, so this is definitely a nice to have, you know, not having one previously, so I'm very cool. Let's get in closer to see the details of the, his, the two head sculpts and then of the arms and see the rest of the body and everything. All right, so here is the Super Scroll up close, and this thing is awesome. I love the detail um, in the head sculpt. There's some creases. The, the chin looks awesome. There is a little bit of a wash um, in there to give it um, his skin, uh, you know, a little bit of a better look instead of just a flat green. So I really, really, really like the way that it came out looking. It's done very, very nicely. Here on the torso, I had mentioned this in a previous video where you see that the shoulder piece is actually a separate piece glued onto the torso, whereas you don't see it so much in the front because of the ab crunch. You can absolutely see it in the back. Um, these things are fairly pliable, so they're just not really going to get in the way or hinder articulation or anything. The, let's look at the Invisible Woman slash fan, Mr. Fantastic Arm. That thing is great. I love the translucent look. You can see the pieces in the inside to make it work, and I love that they went into the purple color color to match the arm piece because the top uh, piece there is not um, it's not translucent in any way it's just a straight purple color that's the same as his legs uh, and everything and then it goes into the invisible color so that is great and it's just a fist and 
but looks great. Now for the left arm is where we get the, the thing effect, where we have the purple transitioning into the orange, and then we have this similar shape of um, the thing. And then I'll actually, a little bit later, I'm gonna see if this hand can go on to the thing. I think it's a little bit smaller, but it doesn't hurt to try. Now mine, I got this weird turquoise little splotch of paint and have no clue where that came from but not a big deal, I'm sure you will not see that on yours. Um, and then to, to represent the Human Torch, which is again that flame effect, you can see it just clips on there. It's so large, it won't work with uh, the Human Torch figure. And looking at the rest, we just straight Hyperion mold, nothing special throughout the rest of uh, the figure itself. And then here, what I was telling you, you could see that piece where it's glued down. It's much more noticeable on the back. Um, and you could see how it's done there. It's not something that you could really pull off, I guess, if you wanted to to really pl uh, pry it off, but it is glued on there pretty good. So looking at the other head sculpt, you could see where it kind of comes around on the neck. Uh, and then here we have the other head sculpt to the super skull and that looks really good as well both heads look fantastic in my opinion I like the smiling one but they both look really really good big fan of what Hasbro did here um, and then the other arms they're just plain nothing special to them but really awesome figure I love the way it looks now let's see his articulation Okay, so for the Super Scrolls articulation, he can look all the way down, which is great. He can look all the way up, so fantastic. You get a full rotation in that neck, of course, and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pivot. Not a whole lot going there. Shoulder can go up this high, so you can see that shoulder piece isn't really going to hinder it a little bit, but you got to kind of work around it to get that full rotation in there. Then same here, and you can get that shoulder to go up that high there. Um, there is upper bicep swivel on the left arm, and you actually do get a double joint elbow which is pretty nice with the thing type of effect there so it gives you a little bit more than a 90 degree which is great here on the stretched invisible arm there's also a double jointed elbow so you get a great bend there there is that upper bicep swivel as well the wrist swivels here and there actually is a hinge for that fist the same on the left you get a swivel and a hinge if you were to try the other arms you just pop one out Put one in and that, ooh, that hinge is frozen down pretty good. You can see standard um, arm, you gotta really work that. You can go up that high, full rotation of course, upper bicep swivel there, double jointed elbow and the wrist swivels and has a hinge, both of them are just fist hands. Ab crunch, you can crunch down that much forward, that much back, so really good there. Waist swivel, legs go out really far apart. He can kick forward pretty darn high. Doesn't go back at all. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. Swivel at the calf slash boot. Foot hinges down and foot hinges up and great ankle pivot in there as well. Peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So very good articulation on the guy. And again, he's standard Hyperion mold, which I think I showed this earlier. I'm not gonna do that again. Um, so really awesome. Now let's see how he looks compared to some of the other figures from the wave. Okay, so here is the Super Scroll next to the Doctor Doom figure and the Hulk figure from this wave. You can see he's a little bit taller than Doctor Doom and definitely shorter than Hulk, but look very good. Uh, side by side. Okay, and here's the Super Scroll next to the thing, and you can see the thing is much larger. And then another thing to take a look at is his hand is much smaller, so it is not the same fist. However, the oranges are very, very similar in color. I would say the same, maybe a tiny bit lighter, but basically the same as this one, and very different when it comes to the Walgreens one, of course. But you cannot switch that hand. That is not going to work out. So let's see him next to the other Fantastic Four member. Okay, and here's the Super Scroll next to the Human Torch, Invisible Woman, and Mr. Fantastic. A little pushback, and you can see that the Super Scroll is much larger than him, uh, but they look very awesome together. So depending on how you do kind of your display setup or your pictures, 
um, in photography. I think you can do some amazing things with these guys. Um, and I'm going to try my hand at one or two, probably. Um, you know, my little super amateur style that I do. But um, they look really, really good together. Now let's check out one more side-by-side -side comparison. And here we have them next to Talos from the Captain Marvel Kree Sentry Build-A-Figure Wave. Um, and you can see that there's a large difference between comic scrolls and the um, MCU versions. Um, I, I don't know. The coat is kind of weird on this guy, but I do like the design. is pretty cool, but um, you can see that there is a, a large difference. At least MCU stuck with the crazy chin, right? Uh, but look, they look very good together. So pretty awesome. Um, comic figure definitely wins because I never really cared much for this figure, actually. But, meh, that's just me, I guess. Uh, but you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the Super Scroll build figure? Are you happy with it? Excited to get it? Are you still going to army build, even though technically this is clerked and not an army builder figure? I, for one, think it's completely okay to army build, but there are those out there that say no, 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 no. I'm curious what your guys' opinion is on that. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.